Before we go any further, how can we know that when Genesis says the word day, it means just a 24-hour day and not millions or billions of years of time? Well, it has to do with this word. This is the Hebrew word yom. Yom is used in the Bible to mean several different definitions. However, in the Bible, all of the human authors who were writing what God told them to write always use the word yom to mean a 24-hour day when it is further quantified by a description such as first, second, third, etc. Also, you may have noted when we read the scripture, it also says there was evening and there was morning. This further quantifies the word to mean one day or one 24-hour period of time. Here's how we know. Nighttime in Hebrew tradition in the Bible is divided into four three-hour periods called watches. In Mark 13, 35, they are all four mentioned. Let's read this. Therefore stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight, or when the rooster crows, or in the morning. According to our way of reckoning time, evening or the evening watch is from about 6 to 9 p.m. The midnight watch from about 9 to midnight. The rooster crow from about midnight to 3 a.m. And the morning watch from about 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. These are slightly different from the Old Testament where only three watches are mentioned, 6 to 10, 10 to 2, and 2 to 6 a.m. After the night watches, we have what are called the hours. The first hour is from 6 to 7 a.m., the second from 7 to 8 a.m., the third 8 to 9 a.m., and so on until we reach 6 p.m. again, and then the watches begin and a new day begins. So that's why Moses, the human author of Genesis, who wrote what God told him to write, begins with evening and then morning to designate a day. All the watches of the evening and all the hours of the morning are represented in that statement, and it was the completion of one 24-hour day. All right, let's find out what God created on the second day. Genesis 1, verses 6 through 8. Then God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. God made the expanse and separated the waters that were below the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse, and it was so. God called the expanse heaven, and there was evening and there was morning a second day.